A round of applause, please, for Matt Bauer. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you. You know, as I listened to the presentations this morning, I have to say it, it, I found a, a kind of a theme that ran through it. And it reminded me of a story that I want to I wanna relate to you a little bit. Epicor's headquarters is in Austin, Texas. And I assume you've, you've all probably heard stories about Texas. You know, the personalities there tend to be larger than life. And um, one of those personalities, he's kind of an eccentric billionaire, if you will, but he's very socially oriented. And uh, every year he runs a retreat for promising young men and women uh, to teach them the values of leadership. And I say he's eccentric because he invites them to his compound, and the compound is filled with all kinds of exotic animals, crazy animals from all across the world. So he takes a couple of days and he takes them through seminars similar to this. And uh, at the end, the way he wraps it up is he takes them on a tour of the compound and shows them all the animals. And he finishes the tour at an Olympic-sized swimming pool. And the, the really unusual thing about this is that the swimming pool is full of alligators and they're hungry. So he gathers them around the pool and he says to them, you know, as, as young leaders, it's critically important that you understand risk and what the, the rewards and the dangers of risk are. So he says, if any one of you is willing to jump into that pool and swim through it and come out the other side, I'll give you anything, I'll give you anything that you want. Cars, money, real estate, whatever. Now, Obviously, this is an analogy, and he's not expecting anybody to actually take him up on the offer. But on this particular day, as the group turned to leave, they heard a splash. Lo and behold, there's a young man swimming across that pool like crazy. And, and he makes it. He comes out the other side. So the billionaire is, is obviously a little bit flustered because he never really expected anybody to take him up on this offer. And he walks over and he says, he says young man, he says, I'll be honest with you, I, I, I've never had anybody do this before, but I'm a man of my word. What is it that you would like? So the, the young man's obviously out of breath. He, he takes a minute to compose himself, and he looks up and he says, I just want to know who the hell pushed me into that pool. <laughs> and you may feel that way. You may feel that way about technology. Uh, so with that, I would like to start by thanking Zed Michaela for allowing me the opportunity to tell you a little bit about Epicor, who we are, and what capabilities that we, we offer to our customers. And as Monty Python said, now for something completely different. I know that most of you are here today uh, because you're focused on the educational experience. But I also assume that you're either working for or have businesses. And that's really the focus of my presentation today. Now, do, does the term ERP sound familiar to anybody? Can you raise your hands if you've heard of ERP? Okay, well, we've got at least one. So ERP is an acronym for Enterprise Resource Planning. And essentially, this is software technology that, that operates many of the business processes that work behind the scenes to make your businesses work. And frankly, for any business that's successful today, ERP has been a part of that success. Automating, streamlining, those, those processes that run the business. And, and frankly, in today's world, if you're going to be competitive, ERP is a, an extremely important aspect of that. So Epicor is a substantive player in the ERP industry. Now, while our size and our capabilities have been molded through acquisition, I will tell you that we've been a player in this market since the 80s, and today we generate almost a billion dollars of revenue. We've got close to 4,000 employees uh, that serve more than 20,000 customers in 150 countries. Uh, and that, that number, by the way, that almost 4,000 number, 3,900, doesn't begin to count the more than 400 partners that we have around the world 
and the Epicor resources that they bring that, that multiply that two to three times. So I'd like to begin with just a little bit of flavor on our geographic and industry presence. As I mentioned, Epicor uh, is in about 150 countries. We support 30 languages. Partner operations uh, do account for our presence in a wide variety of those, those countries and regions. We have significant operations here in the Americas. As I mentioned, our headquarters is in Austin, Texas. We also have facilities in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Monterey, Texas. Um, and outside of the US, we have major facilities in Bracknell in the UK, uh, Sydney, Australia, and Singapore. And it's that kind of global footprint that allows us to operate 24-7 and deliver support and services to the majority of the industrialized world. One of the most important things that I want you to keep in mind about Epicor is that we do not try to be everything to everyone. We focus on a very specific subset of industries, and that's kind of a key aspect of our value proposition. So manufacturing, it's long been a core competency of this company. Uh, we primarily focus, you can kind of read the slide for yourself, but we primarily focus around what is known as discrete manufacturing, people that build things, and hybrid manufacturing where they take stuff that's liquid, if you will, and package it up in any variety of ways. And our main, our main thrust in that market is, is something we call ERP-10. That's the main platform that we del deliver. But we also have products that are what we call fit for purpose. And they serve the print and packaging industry, the food and bev segments. We even have uh, technology, it's called manufacturing execution technology, which is designed to improve the efficiency of the manufacturing floor itself. Distribution is another key market. We have deep expertise in uh, wholesale and industrial hard goods. That's reflected not just in the ERP platform, but again, through some additional product lines, uh, Profit 21 and Eclipse that serve this industry. Recently, we spun out a portion of our business uh, that focused on the merchandising retail sector, but we still maintain a strong retail presence in areas such as lumber, hardware, equipment. And perhaps, for today's topic most relevantly, we have a long history in the services market as well, most notably in professional services, financial services, as well as nonprofit organizations. So that industry focus has a number of benefits, not the least of which is driving design simplicity, which essentially makes the software more intuitive to use. It also allows us to go deep, offering industry templates that have been built, if you will, on thousands of deployments and takes the best practices, the best industry practices, and standardizes them as business processes in the software. So the results of that strategy speak for themselves. Our customer list is both large and impressive. These are just a, a small sampling of the brands that have found success using our software. From household names like Ace and True Value Hardware to global leaders in distribution like Rexel, to some very cutting edge manufacturers such as Red Bull. You might associate Red Bull with the drink, but they're also a manufacturer. Uh, they, have, uh, they, have a, a, a they have a technology division that focuses on racing, as you'll see in a minute. Um, we're used in this case as a best of breed component among a variety of other systems that supports their racing technology division. Now, that environment is what they call engineer to order, which means they design it and they build it. And that means that configurability of the software is absolutely critical to them. But, you know, I... I like to let you hear what they have to say themselves. I'm going to play one of. I'm going to play three videos for you today. This is the first one, and uh, let you see what Red Bull has to say. I'm uh, Ian Pryor, I'm Senior Manufacturing Systems Manager at Red Bull Technology. We design, manufacture and develop uh, Formula One racing cars for the Red Bull Racing team. 
Um, we are based in Milton Keynes, around 600 staff. I think now, with along with most businesses, we have to look at efficiency. We have to look at efficiency both from a cost-saving point of view, and we also need to look at efficiency from the point of view that if we have a good idea, then we want to actually manufacture it and get it to the track ahead of the other teams to give ourselves a competitive advantage, but without compromising the quality or falsely spending unnecessary resource. We use an Epicor ERP solution uh, to manage our manufacturing, procurement and parts control functions and it also links into our separate uh, finance and design control systems. The system that we have enables us to capture data very easily, to analyse it and produce reports in the format that we like. So it provides information on which to make management decisions, it enables them and empowers them to make better use of the knowledge that's available. I think the best part of the current product compared to products we've run in the past is our ability to customise it, to tailor the solution to suit our own needs uh, and to be able to do it ourselves, not have to uh, schedule a consultant, do modifications for us, but the ability to maintain the core product whilst actually developing it ourselves to suit our own needs. We actually first chose uh, Epicor over six years ago and when it came to upgrading the solution, um, as well as the technical sophistication of the new Epicor ERP solutions, we liked the business relationship that we had, the way they understand our business needs and respond to the timescales that we work in. From the time that a design is released through to the point where a part gets to the track, it's being progressed using the Epicor business solution. It's one of the tools in our, our sort of armory. The way in which you, you win at the circuit, the way in which you gain the tenth of a second that you need to qualify a few further places up the grid, is that every part of the system within the business has to work properly. Great designers, great manufacturing resources, great quality, great engine, etc., etc. It's a tool that bonds if you like, the business into a process so that we get a competitive edge. But part of what you heard in that conversation was how technology supported their business objectives and helped them gain a competitive edge. And that's a great segue to my next topic, which is a quick look at our technology and our solutions. You know, at one time, ERP was essentially something that was kind of in the back, if you will, the back office. It was hidden. Today, nothing could be further from the truth. Companies need solutions for end-to-end -end processes that can integrate with any variety of other applications that they use across every aspect of their value chain. So our solutions, they address the complete value chain from design and manufacture to distribution to sales and service of the end customer. So whether you operate in a business-to-business -business environment or business-to-consumer environment, your supply chain applications, they have to create competitive advantage for you because if they don't, you're subject to, you will, if you will, the business version of Darwinian evolution, survival of the fittest. It's also important to note that every business has some unique process or some unique requirement because that's part of how a business creates competitive advantage. And we understand that concept, which is why we design our products to be configurable and to loosely couple with other applications you use to run your business. It allows, it allows our customers to take advantage of best business practices through standardized processes and yet adapt those solutions into the context of what's made them successful. Now, I will tell you that I'm old enough to remember a time when ERP was basically a combination of an accounting package and some planning functionality around uh, manufacturing. That was the actual birth of ERP. I hate to admit that, but we've come a long way since those days. Today's ERP platforms embrace a suite of related applications. They're all designed to work together to move information to or from virtually every corner of your business. And Epicor is no exception but again, tempered by this focused market approach. So our business architecture, which you see here on the slide, includes PDM, CRM, HCM, SCM, MES, SFM, oh, BTW. By the way, 
Did you notice how much we like uh, acronyms in this industry? Everything's an acronym. There's a few more there that I didn't mention, but I think you get the picture. The, uh, the platform offers a broad range of complementary capabilities that allow our customers to design solutions that meet their needs. Now, addressing that broad range of business needs is frankly just table stakes. Everybody has to do that if you want to be in the game. Every, every ERP publisher has to have capabilities like that. The real question in this case is, how you bring that functionality to market. And you might say that that's a question of style. So the bullets you see on this slide, that's what I mean by style. And when it comes to that, I like to think we're the uh, cool kids on the block. It's those style points that got Gartner, who is an industry analyst, to classify Epicor as a visionary in its magic quadrant for ERP publishers. And that's an important point. Style is important. You want to talk about style? Apple is a company with style, is it not? And if we've learned anything from Apple and their success, it's that the most easily adopted software is also the most intuitive software. So while ERP may not have made it to the level of an iPhone yet, Epicor's vertically focused, industry-specific approach helps us to create that highly intuitive user experience. We've also embedded social capabilities that deliver a level of collaboration and user personalization that frankly has previously been un unheard of in ERP. Virtual business models, they become way more common. And so we support requirements like multi-site, multi-plant, multi-company capabilities. Epicor is also the only ERP publisher to offer a full range of deployment options, and that means whether it's on-premise, hosted, or in the cloud, as a single platform and a single code base. We're the only one. Now, one of the coolest features, and this is the one that always draws the oohs and ahs when you're doing a demo, as Kristen does, if you, you want to see any of this, uh, is the ease with which system data is incorporated into the Microsoft Office tools that we use every day in business. Um, basically, it allows you to extract data with the push of a button right into your email, right into your Word document, right into your PowerPoint to manipulate it and then, if you need to, return it to the system. So why did we do that? We did it, well, because if you make it easier to get data in and out of your ERP system and use it with other native apps like Microsoft Office or Business Intelligent, it creates a ton of value in your organization. There's a wide variety of people that need the information that's locked up in your ERP. Why not give it to them in ways that they can do the most with it? It's a very simple, but it's also a very powerful concept. And it empowers employees at every level of your organization to be more productive by putting the information they need at their fingertips. So, combining technology, functionality, style, that's how we at Epicor stay ahead of the game. The graphic that you see on the screen behind me summarizes that quite nicely. Let me just, I'm just going to walk you briefly through that counterclockwise. Mobility, it's in there. You have an ERP in your pocket on any device, and that means that you have information when you need it, where, where you need it, how you need it. Simplicity. Well. I'll be honest, we can throw all the tech at you that you need or want. But if your users can't make sense of it, if you can't make sense of it, then how does it create value? Responsiveness. I'm not talking about how fast does the screen change when you push the button. I'm talking about will the application scale with your business? Are you going to be able to grow with this application? How far do you get to ride that pony? Choice. We all want choice. And with our platform, you get ERP, ERP the way you want to consume it. We built the product that way. We're the only vendor today with true choice. One platform for cloud, hosted, or on-premise. No, no change in the product. And then finally, collaboration. This is a product architected around social concepts. Not just the social media idea, 
but as I pointed out, how you share information every day with tools like MS Office. So, as I said, I think it's always more powerful if your customers talk for you. Uh, but I'm going to show you my second video now, which hones in on this last point around collaboration. My name is Douglas Horner and our company is Enpress LLC. We are a composites pressure vessel manufacturer that serves the water treatment worldwide market. We design all of our own products in-house. Actually, not only the products, the features, the marketing side of it, and also all the tooling is either designed, developed, or approved of in this facility. It's a very sophisticated little company. Uh, we operate uh, 24 hours a day, five days a week and we don't have maintenance on every shift. So certain positions are missing on certain shifts. And so we had what we'll call a lack of communication between shifts. I first started testing Epicor's social enterprise in the beta program. It improves data flow for NPRESS by filling in the gaps of communication between shifts and departments. Everybody uses social media these days. So Epicor Social, fits right in there for our employees. They, I, I provided them instructions on how to use it. They didn't look at them. They knew exactly what to do by posting new messages. It's uh, a very um, friendly user interface. Uh, all of our orders are on the screen. Um, people know what they have to make. They, if there's issues, those issues are, are brought to everybody's attention. And it's communicated again to, uh, you know, we have about 40 people in the business. Everybody's on the account, so everybody gets to see it every day. It uh, helps hold people accountable by placing a message out on a board for us and on a web page that's viewable by anybody. Before, we would send emails about different issues. Sometimes say, I didn't get that email. Well, now there's no denying that you either did or didn't get an email or you know a message that was on the board for everybody to see. It allows our plant people on all three shifts to communicate seamlessly throughout the entire organization 24 hours a day. The maintenance function is fantastic now because if there's any issues, the social account picks that up and it's communicated directly to maintenance and they know about it before they even get here to fix the problem. So it has been a great communication tool. I can come in in two days and say, hey, let me go make sure that machine got fixed. Or hey, let me go make sure that these boxes got switched for this customer. And I can hold people accountable because now I visually see everything. We've noticed improvements in key areas of our business such as shipping and receiving. It condenses the time the speed which we can get things done. Epicor has inspired our business by actually bringing all of our employees together and getting them all on the same page, which is extremely difficult to do from the front office all the way back to the shipping dock. It has changed the way we communicate with each other. It's fantastic, to be honest with you. one of the absolutely most complex and trying projects that any business can undertake. You're literally taking the underbelly of your organization and retooling it. And it's no small task and it's certainly not one that you want to take lightly. So this is the part of the commercial where I tune to a little bit about services and support. Epicor and its partners have literally installed thousands of ERP systems. Out of that experience, we synthesized the best practices on how to drive a successful ERP implementation. And this process, which you see graphically behind me, is something we call signature methodology. It's a proven guide used by Epicor and all of our partners to implement an ERP product. And when it's employed and when it's adhered to, it is a recipe for success. And that's because it uses a system of checks and balances to ensure that your ERP implementation is the project of your dreams and not the nightmare on Elm Street that continues on and on and on. Now, this is one aspect of an overall holistic approach. Our business is a people business. And people businesses inherently mean that knowledge is absolutely critical. So we easily have a thousand plus trained consultants in the field two or three times that when you add in partner organizations. Now, ensuring competency across that entire population means we need to enforce a regime 
of, of certification programs that create a baseline for knowledge, if you will, across Epicor, its staff, its partners, and its customers. We also field 12 support operations around the globe that work collaboratively with those staff, those partners, those customers, to, to ensure one of the most critical metrics, one of the most important metrics that our company espouses, and that's customer satisfaction. And finally, as a software, as a software publisher, the ability to rapidly codify, deliver, validate, all of that information that's always changing all the time. We live in a very fast-paced world. That's critical. Epicor uses a, a, a philosophy, an advanced knowledge transfer philosophy, if you will, that is quite unusual. It's the only time in all of my business career that I've actually seen this done with a company. We fund and staff something called Epicor University, or EU. And Epicor University's sole role is to continuously improve knowledge transfer. And they employ a wide variety of technique to make that happen. Training techniques, virtual, on-demand, classroom formats, even embedded right into the application itself that allow you to interact with the application and learn how to do things. And this, is, this holistic kind of approach ensures that our staff, our partners, our customers, they, all, they have the knowledge that they need to maximize their ERP investment. That brings me to uh, our last customer video. Uh, church manufacturing is a great example that kind of brings all the topics I've touched to get today together in, in, in one testimonial. So I want to thank you for your attention today. Uh, I hope I've given you a little bit of a flavor of who Epicor is and hopefully why you should be looking at us if you, your organization, your business is looking to implement an ERP system. Our tagline is business inspired. And I think this slide does a, a, a good job of highlighting what we mean by that. We're working hard to take your father's ERP, if you will, out of the backwater of technology and back office and to make it a system that works the way you do, wherever, however, whenever that needs to be. So when and if you uh, want to talk ERP, I hope you remember the company that's bringing cool back to business applications. Thank you.